going on Kim folk? Happy Saturday. It is Saturday, August 10th and I got up a little while ago. I had a hard time getting up this morning. When I go to bed late, I didn't get home until I think midnight and I hate going to bed late because then I wake up feeling like poo. But um, I actually got up because um, I am going through my Xbox. I'm gonna finish going through that today because I want it to be done. But um, how many of you have an Xbox? I know I'm not the only one that does, I can't be. I just have like this whole box here full of memories. Um, I have like some things from like grade school. Yeah, I mean I still have some like the kids books that I had growing up, which I will keep. This was one of my favorites, The Wonderful Pigs of Jillian Jiggs and Geraldine's Big Snow. Like all the books that like I really, really loved when I was little. I have those which I plan to keep, but then things like pictures of my high school ex-boyfriend and like pictures of us together. <laughs> like look at that. <laughs> That's like my attitude was what I looked like. I was, I mean, I was nice and kind and stuff, but like I just had like this attitude and yeah, this is this was my boo. I thought I was gonna marry him. <laughs> but I'm getting rid of all those pictures because I don't need them. Like why, why do I need them? I have more picture, oh, this is me, oh, and Sunny. You guys never met Sunny, but Sunny was my baby, oh. That was my baby. That was when we first moved into the house in Indiana. So this was 2002 and they had this ugly, ugly, ugly paint and trim in my bedroom. So I ended up painting it and taking that ugly stuff off. But that's my little bubby. And yeah, I have tons of just different pictures in here, which I, I'm going to keep all the ones of me, of course. And like high school pictures and all kinds of stuff. Which I'm probably going to use these as some throwback Thursdays. Because I love throwback Thursday. I think it's, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> but yeah, I have a lot of stuff here. Gosh, prom picture. Oh my gosh. So much stuff in here. So I'm going to go through everything. And get rid of the stuff that I don't want to keep. And then keep the stuff that I do want to keep. So... Yeah, do you guys do the same thing? Are you guys just as bad as me? I mean, I have my whole Xbox. I also have, oh my gosh, this here. This, an ex-boyfriend of mine, he, he was someone that I was so, like, I was so infatuated with. And he, he like, took me for granted, of course, just like most guys do, until I broke up with him because he didn't, he didn't know the Lord, like he didn't know God, He, I think he was, he was an atheist, I think, but I always, I always preached the gospel to him and we used to get into a lot of conversations about God and stuff. So then when I broke up with him, he realized how much he loved me. He turned his life over to God and was just so in love with me. But I still at the time felt like as much, oh, th this was probably the hardest thing I have, like one of the hardest things I've ever done because I still loved him but I felt in my spirit that he wasn't for me. So even though like I loved him so much, like it was literal torture. It was so miserable because we lived in the same town. He ended up moving, he, he like moved out of state back to where he was from. He moved back because he wanted to be with me. So he kept trying to win my heart and all this stuff. And I already felt like the Lord told me, no, I can't be with him. It was so freaking hard it was so freaking hard so um he ended up writing me like this poem for my birthday he wrote me a poem when we first met which was really sweet and then um he wrote me a poem and like put it he like made this whole thing and like put it in here i kept it because i thought it was just really sweet and then wrote me a note and whatever so i kept that he wrote me a uh yeah it was it was it was really really super sweet but I kept it. But now it's like, why am I keeping all this stuff? Like, I don't need, like, I don't need all this stuff from exes. Like, I don't need it. I think I just kept it because, I don't know, it was just, it was just really thoughtful. And I kept all the thoughtful things because I do that. I even have this, I'm definitely not getting rid of. This is not from an ex, but I have this whole box here of cards. 
from my grandmother. I have some other stuff in here too, actually. Oh gosh, I have some, here's my high school diploma. <laughs> I have all that. I have, gosh, what else is this? This is a letter, I have uh, like cards from people. I'm keeping the ones with my, with my, that my dad gave me. And I also have all, every single card. This is not the one. I have a lot of cards that people gave me, but I have every single card that my grandma gave me. Because I don't know, I don't know why I saved them, but my grandma was the best grandmother ever and I loved her so much. I don't think this is from my grandma. Oh, this is a card from my old bosses when my grandmother passed away. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Let me see if I can find one from my grandma. Oh my goodness, I'm finding so many cards from so many people. Like all, a lot of my friends wrote me cards. This is from my childhood best friend and her family. They threw me like a congratulations party and they all wrote something in here when I graduated beauty school. I have so many things in here. I, had a, I have a lot of friends who really appreciated me, <laughs> which is super sweet. I got all kinds of stuff in here. Stuff that I don't need, of course. <laughs> but then some stuff that's like, oh, I don't know if I wanna get rid of that. This, my dad sent me this. I don't know when, I don't know what year. I wish I knew what year. Happy birthday, Shauna, don't blink or you might miss something. And then he wrote, <laughs> he wrote, happy birthday, Shauna, remember that even though I'm not there, I still have my eye on you. <laughs> Uh, that's so cute because my dad has always been like really protective which I appreciate about him now but um yeah that was really cute what is his phone numbers oh wow yeah lots of cards from a lot of people who have really valued me me and Lindsay used to be like we were so so close back in I don't even remember what year um like early 2000s and she sent me a lot of really sweet cards saying really sweet things. But gosh, that's so great. My grandfather, I don't I know, I don't know why I can't find my grandma cards. I have a ton of them and I know for a fact I did not get rid of those. I couldn't have. I have a lot of other stuff though. So I'm just going to go through all this stuff and get rid of them. Not the, I'm not gonna get rid of all my cards because I don't know, I really, I really like these cards. I wanna have them. This is from one of my old clients uh -huh. from when I worked in Chicago. I have a lot of cards from my old employers from Chicago. I got a lot of stuff in here. So I'm just going through this stuff, getting rid of it. Let me know if I'm not the only one who has a ton of stuff like this that I just hold on to, which I'm still gonna hold on to these these things from my dad. Some people like I don't even remember Georgia Ann. Oh, I don't know, but <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. So yeah, I'm gonna continue. Probably gonna turn the TV on here in a second. I'll let you guys know how I how I do. Oh man, this is a picture of me and Eric from way back in the day. If you can see, look at that's me and Eric back in 2000 and like I don't know, five maybe, four, 2004, five. When we were like, man, we were best friends. That was my BFF. That's so crazy. <laughs> I even still have my graduation tassel. I don't think I need this anymore. But man, I, like I don't know why I have a hard time throwing away stuff like this. Now, am I the only one that has a hard time getting rid of nostalgic things like this? I don't think I am. But again, let me know in the comments. I have like a whole pile right here. I even have my cape. My cape from beauty school. This is my beauty school cape. I don't know why you don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> I don't know, but hopefully I make some progress because now everything I'm looking at, I'm like, 
all the stuff from my exes I don't like some stuff it's like even the palm and stuff it's just super sweet I don't particularly want to get rid of that but it's like why am I holding on to it but because I don't have like any feelings for them at all but like you know it's just sweet but okay I'm done let me stop let me hurry up and get this done Ooh, I've made great progress and now I'm gonna eat lunch it's just not ready this is my air fryer I think I've showed you guys my air fryer before, but I love this thing. And these chicken breasts from Sam's that I was telling you about, though. They're so bomb, but this is what they look like. I put it on um, Hawaiian bread, because I love Hawaiian bread. But look at how beautiful. So good. And I put some ketchup on it, and I eat it like a chicken sandwich. And it's always amazing. So I'm about to eat lunch, and finish up because my living room has pictures and stuff all over so I need to finish sorting through these pictures and um, clean up because it's driving me nuts but I'm feeling good so yeah now I'm hungry so I'm gonna eat <laughs> 